Hey everyone, in today's video I've got a full guide to the Cataclysm event in the Cycle Frontier. I'll give you all the details about the event as well as some important tips and tricks to maximize your experience for this exciting pre-wipe event. First, let's dive into the event. Cataclysm is the first limited time event we have had in the Cycle Frontier and is a prelude to the start of Season 2. Prospectors will experience the stormiest weather they have ever encountered and intense PvP as they all converge on meteor showers to try and acquire strange meteor cores. These strange meteor cores are used to craft legendary weapons, exotic armor, and night vision helmets. So that's an overview, now let's dive into the details. First up, the storm is significantly more frequent. Every four to five minutes, the storm comes after about six minutes or so of daylight. So basically every 10 minutes, you're seeing a full weather cycle. Now, thankfully, the lightning strikes have been significantly reduced, so you're not dodging them every two seconds. Also, you can no longer evacuate during the daytime. Instead, you must evac during the storm. Nice little twist. Next up, the meteor strikes. The meteor strikes come in much more frequently, almost one after another, after another, after another, while you're down in the raid. The meteor and its smaller meteorites now have a chance to contain the strange meteor core. This item weighs five and is used to craft the legendary weapons, exotic armor, and the night vision helmet at the crafting station. The legendary weapons cost 15 strange meteor core, the night vision helmet costs 10, and the exotic armor and helmet cost five each. All of these items have a reduced K-Marks cost, but still have a very high skip cost, so keep that in mind. On this note, all the guns from the three factions now, however, have a massively reduced price. For example, the Voltaic Brute is normally 150,000 and is now 50,000, so big, big discounts on all the guns you've unlocked throughout the season. So now you can easily get your hands on some good armor and good guns for a very cheap price. Last important note about the event is that heads drop off monsters at a much higher rate, which gives players with a smaller bankroll a chance to quickly get their funds up and get their hands on some discounted guns. Now let's talk about some quick strategies. First off, I found that I was constantly running from meteor to meteor to meteor, trying my best to get there before others showed up. That's why I strongly recommend using SMGs like the Brute or a shotgun like the Shattergun to make sure that you're having the benefit of the movement speed that you get with those two weapon types. One of the first things I did was snag a night vision helmet. Who wouldn't, right? I mean, there's so many storms, the darkness is there all the time. Let's test it out. So here's a couple things with that. First off, if your guns have a 2x scope or higher, the night vision turns off when you scope in. So make sure you have a hollow or a red dot or you like the iron sight so that you can flip to it during the storm and put it back on during the daylight. Also, I personally find that night vision works well at a distance, but there are definitely times when I feel like at close range, you better off having a flashlight and the NV on at the same time for those close quarter engagements. My last big tip is always run Bright Sands if your goal is to acquire as many strange meteor cores as you want. Bright Sands is smaller and in the north area of the map there are five meteor strikes that happen all right next to each other in very close proximity and you can literally just bounce between these from location to location to location to location. Let me know what you guys think about the first pre-wipe event for the Cycle Frontier. I personally thought it was pretty fun and definitely something you guys should check out. Thanks so much for watching as always. And if you're looking for more Cycle Frontier content, then make sure to drop a sub and I'll catch you in the next one.